Hello future doctors, it's Dr. Tom here from PassGamSat.com and I'm going to talk about uh, how not having a calculator in the science section is going to affect your science section results, so stay tuned. Alright, so I'm outside here, it's nice and sunny and I've got a question recently from one of my boot camp members about the science section. He was worried that he couldn't have a calculator there um, and the fact is it doesn't really change anything. When, back when you could have a calculator in the science section, you didn't really use it anyway. Because all, if you did use it, it was just to reassure yourself that you'd done the numbers right. But the way that, the, that, GAN, that ASA put together the questions is such that you don't really need a calculator anyway. Or, you know, there, might, there will be calculations, there will be numbers that you have to crunch, but they're, they're done in such a way that there aren't huge decimal places and you're not doing... Uh, huge math, it's not a maths test, so they're not going to be testing on these complicated maths equations and, and calculations. But what they will want you to do is be able to use those numbers, well, do, use the calculations, the formulas, and answer the questions, not with your mathematics skills, but with your reasoning abilities. So, bottom line is, the fact that you can't have a calculator in the science section isn't going to change anything from how it used to be. So the bottom line is that you don't need a calculator in the science section anyway. So don't worry about it. Keep going with your preparation and uh, you're going to do really well. So if you like that, if you found it useful, m valuable, or motivating, click like, give us a comment, tell us what you think, or share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.